Welcome to Filmora 60 Second, No More in a Short Time. In this video, we will teach you how to free up disk space for Final Cut Pro X. Part 1. How to free up space from Final Cut Pro Library. Step 1. Remember to delete unused clips and original medias. To make room for your Final Cut Pro, delete all the unused clips and original media. Delete the generated library files and delete the render files. Step 2. Save space with files and transcoding options. It happens in Final Cut Pro that while working, it creates records, proxy files, and rendered files. To save space, you have to delete these files. It is advised to delete the generated rendered files before moving the library to Mac Final Cut Pro. Moreover, Mac recovers all the files the following time you open the project. Step 3. Stop background rendering and delete render files in FCPX. Sometimes, temporary videos and audios are created in Final Cut Pro X. Background rendering starts just after 5 seconds you quit working in Mac. You can physically control the background rendering in Final Cut Pro. When you want to have more control, disable rendering in FCP and choose which clip you would like to render. You can change the preferences to disable or enable through the FCPX settings. Once you disable the rendering, it is your choice to select the specific clips to render. Open the Preferences menu in your Mac and render the highlighted clips in your FCPX timeline. Use the Ctrl R shortcut to render the files. To delete the render files in FCPX, delete the generated files. Files, Generated Files. A window will appear. Click OK on Delete Render Files. Part 2. What to do with the not enough disk space error even with enough space in Mac? Sometimes, still having a lot of space, your Final Cut Pro X shows not enough disk space error in FCPX. Follow the below steps to solve this problem. Click and select the library in FCPX. Then go to the File menu and select Delete Generated Library File. Next, select all the render and proxy files. You might not be using optimized files. In that case, select Optimized Files. Exit FCPX. To reboot, hold down both Option and Command keys. Delete the preference files. If the error persists, run the utility folder that is inside the application folder. Execute first aid in all the units. If the error persists, obtain a copy of the disk and repair the directories on all the drives. Part 3. How to free up space in Mac Nowadays, Macs have limited and restricted capacity due to the SSDs present in them. When there were hard drives in Mac, we had a huge room on them. In recent memory, high-resolution videos, music, and other functional records take up more capacity. When you run out of space, it hampers your work and processing. How to clear your Mac space If you're in a hurry, you can do the below things to quickly clear up the space in your Mac. First, select the download folder and open it in the Finder. Now select the folder whose content you don't need and trash it. Second, move to the Home folder and open a new Find window. Press Command F. Third, click the drop-down menu to choose Other. Look to the box next to Document Size. Press OK. Choose Greater Than in the next drop-down menu. With this, choose the unwanted file or the one that is no longer useful to throw in the trash. Fourth, another thing that you can do is move those files in the trash that you haven't opened in the last year. Fifth, if your desktop has a lot of unused stuff and is taking space, then delete the folders on the desktop. If you're interested in more useful content, check out filmora.wondershare.com.